This is MC Codger here saying welcome back. You know, last time we went into that mine, the old mine, and we found us some cobwebs. You can see our cobwebs there. And I just wanted to, we harvested it with a, a, uh, a shear, which I'd forgot that, yeah, you can harvest it with a sword and it becomes string. And the only reason you have to have a shear is if you want to harvest it as cobweb which is kind of cool. You can use cobweb for a number of things. Let me select a little bit of cobweb here, and I'm just going to set it right there. Right-click and set it. And let me show you what you can do with cobweb. It's pretty cool. Here is some uh, gravel, for instance. Let me set this gravel. Let it drop it onto... Look how it's going through the cobweb so slow. And, you know, you can set cobweb, and you can... Uh, kind of slow down mobs with cobweb because you can uh, you can walk through cobweb but as soon as you start walking through it you slow down so this cobweb's kind of cool but uh, what I wanted it for is for string so let me just uh, take this harvest it as string I'll set the rest of it and do the same thing there's some there's some more Okay, let me just harvest that as a string. Because with a string, I want to make two things. I want to make, uh, if I have enough of it, and I think I do, I want to make a bow, which you can put you a row of string down there, and then make sticks, like, shape them like this. Point out the one in the middle. There we go. And there's your bow. And you can got some arrows and you can uh, defend yourself a lot better against uh, skeletons if you have a bow. Well, let's rearrange these things a little bit. And let's make something that's uh, fun. Let's make a fishing rod. There you go. Fishing rod. And you can go fishing. And uh, we're going to do that shortly uh, and see what we can catch. So there's your fishing rod. And there's your bow. So uh, I'm going to go topside and then we'll go fishing for just a moment and see what we catch. Well, here we are topside and we're going to go fishing. Got us a little fishing hole here. You don't need a lot of water to go fishing with, but you just take your fishing rod and right click. Yeah, don't hold it down like that. You keep on. You can also use a fishing rod to kind of uh, lead uh, an animal along the way. You can uh, uh, hook an animal with it and kind of lead them as well. But we're sitting our fishing rod here in the water and patiently waiting, watching the bubbles. If you look real closely, when before you catch a fish, you'll see a trail of bubbles heading straight. There it is. Now we just... And look what we got. We got us a salmon, looks like, isn't it? Yes, raw salmon. Okay, let's cast it in again, see what we get. You can catch not only fish, uh, you can also catch other things, junk, uh, some things that aren't so good. I've caught name tags. I've caught weapons. Uh, you, you know, like in real fishing, I guess you can hook things that aren't fish underwater and, and bring them to you. So let's see what we're going to get here this time, if we're going to get a fish, or sometimes you can get puffer, puffer fish, and uh, just watch for those bubbles. Oh, here they come. And we got us another salmon. Wow, cooked salmon actually gives you better uh, food value than just regular fish. So we did pretty well. We made our uh, bow. We made our... Uh, uh, made our... Uh, fishing rod caught some fish so we're going to go in and cook those but uh, uh, we'll uh, do some more stuff next time and so MC Codger here right now saying we will see you next time